I'm been through the mud, ain't going back. I got some fake love, ain't going back. Ain't going back. Ain't going back. Hey, yo, Quantic, run them bands up. Ain't going back. Six chill, for real, real. Ain't going back. Done went through it all, can't get attached Jumpin' through the mud, ain't going back Done got some fake love, ain't going back Ain't going back Ain't going back Ain't going back What's good with the gang? It's your boy GTV Quack back with another video And today guys, I'm about to be I'm about to be making lunch Um, so today guys, I'm about to be making these Pasolito chicken situations You know what I'm saying? It's not really Pasolitos But I mean, it's pastelitos, but it's not pastelitos, like what's in the pastelitos. It's like a little chicken and shit like that. You already know, so let's go ahead and get into it with this cooking with quiet. Let's get it. Like I said, man, I got the situations in here. Got them in here. Cooking. I got my other situations over here. You know what I mean? I'm going to put the little lights in there. This is already cooked. It just got some stuff that I made on, on top of it. It look nasty to y'all, but once I eat it, y'all gonna be like, oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. You know what I mean? So let me go ahead, grab that, flip that over, tuck that in, pull this out. You know what I mean, you gotta have a fork on the side. Yo, I really don't even really know how to make pastelitos. But I be trying, I ain't even gonna front. I think I'm gonna have my girl teach me how to really make them. How to really uh do this part right here. Cause I really don't know how to, to tell you the truth. Like my other two, they look good. But just this one, I think it's only because I got the camera in my hand. Don't flame me, y'all, don't flame me, man. I, got, I still got some more to do. You know what I'm saying? Some of them gonna come out perfect, some of them not. This one right here just, definitely dysfunctioned. I don't even know what did that or who did that. But I'ma still make something out of that though. Don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? Cause this bread, this shit is so glass. Whoever came up with this, man. Shout out to y'all, man. This shit's glass as hell. So, I got my tongues. Oh, let me move these situations around. Flip them things. Oh, I just touched the pot. This shit hot. Flip that thing around. You know what I mean? I know how these situations about to come out. Stop playing with me, man. I know how to cook. It's not this shit. You know what I mean? So let me move this one to the side. Oh, it's on the counter. Okay, let me move this to the side. I'm about to make a perfect one. I'll be right back. All right, so I had made another one. And honestly, y'all, it is not because I got the camera in my hand. Don't mind it. I, don't, I gotta clean the stove off. I just got done doing the dishes, but I'm trying to make something to eat before I fully clean my house. Um, and I had made two of them, but it's not because I got the camera. It's because I really don't know how to make these shits. But we're back over here. So we put these up here. You know, you gotta keep garbage with the garbage. It's not garbage though. I got something in there. But here, so let's go ahead and make two more. So by the time these two are done, we can have these two ready. Dang. Let me set my camera up. So yeah, like I was saying, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm over here trying to cook it up, chef it up. You know what I mean? Got the meat in this bowl. I got the Lido's over here. Man. Honestly, I like cooking. I love cooking, y'all. Like, don't get me wrong. I definitely love cooking. It's just like certain stuff I cannot cook. Like, I don't know how to cook certain stuff. Let me get a cup of water so this water don't gotta be on. But, I mean, I watched her sometimes. I be watching her sometimes how to get the food out. Like, how to uh, do it in the beginning. I just don't know how to fold it over, basically. Let me get my meat up out of here. Let's put it on here. You know what I mean? And the chicken going to fully cook while it's in there. So, I'll be all right. You know what I mean? 
So then you need your water, right? You need your water around your edges. You know what I mean? So they can stick together. I know that part. Can y'all see me do it? I hope y'all can see it. Can y'all see it? Let me move some of this stuff. Can y'all see it? Right here. Oh, here go a perfect one. This is about to be a perfect one right here, y'all. Get my fork. You know what I mean? Push my joints down. You know what I mean? It's about to be a perfect one. Hey, there you go. There you go. That's a perfect one, guys. That is, look, let me show y'all. Perfect. Y'all can't cap. Don't cap. Perfect, right? Come on now. Do my thing, thing. You get me a new one now. I be doing my thing thing. And then my girl had took my mom to, um, she had offered to take my mom to the doctors because my mom sprained her ankle. And, uh, so now I'm at home. I'm cleaning, I'm cooking. But I be, I be telling my girl, like, she ain't got to clean or none of that. Like, I don't want my girl to clean nothing. She do enough, you know what I'm saying? She do enough. And I don't want my girl to be cleaning and cooking all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a 50, this relationship, like, it's a 50-50 thing. Like, all relationships, it's 50-50. If you ain't putting in your 50, and she only putting in her 50, then I don't know how that relationship working, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and dump this one in here real quick. You know what I mean? I'm about to make all these joints. How many I got left to make though? Cause I'm about to. Mm. Oh, I got one, two, I got six. Yeah, six. Plus that little one over there. That's messed up. Let me dip my fingers in here. Wet my sides a little bit more so they can stick together. Chef boy, quiet. Like. Honestly, though, like I was saying, guys, like, relationships is not just, like, uh, sexually, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all gotta be together, like, y'all gotta be, like, um, fit on all ends, you feel me? Because relationships is built off of emotions, it's built off of, like, I told, listen, this is what I told, that's what I told my... We like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, sex is good in a relationship. You know what I mean? Ah, I just got hit by the breeze. Sex is good in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? But I'd rather, like, like, I'd rather spend time with you more than have sex. Like, we can have sex at the end of the night, you know what I'm saying? But I'd rather have, like, communication. Like, you know what I'm saying? Communication is big in a relationship. Like, you and your partner should always communicate. And, um,. Me and my mans was talking about it the one time, uh, the other day, who is like, uh, to never go to bed mad in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? So, I try to do better in my relationship as a man. Um, it's not always up to a woman in a relationship. I ran for the grease. You ready for me? I'm about to call Batman right now. Yo, Batman! Yo, Batman! Yo, listen. Um, don't, 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 um, don't let nobody tell you that just go with the flow in the relationship. Because if you go with the flow, you're not going to know what the next step is. You feel me? You got to, you got to know if this is exactly what you want. Because you can't waste nobody's time. You feel me? All that old bay I fucked up shit over and over and over and over again. That shit, that shit whack. Like, y'all really got like, if you a man and you claim yourself as a man and you say you a man or a grown man, this and the third, act like a man. So I'm like, that's a man. Listen, there's a lot of women out there that, that you will come across 
that you gonna think that just wants your money or a nigga that get money or flashy, got all this, that, and the third eye, eye. But there's some women out there, y'all, that will grind with them niggas that be fucked up until they up, up. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Show your little body. Show my little bull thing. And show you got the study. Show you catch a move swing. Every time I put out a rubber, I ain't never hit on a car. And I put it on the cover. Oh! All right, guys, so I'm back, man. The Lidos is done. You know what I'm saying? I made all of them. Um, right now, guys, I'm about to get into it and make my sauce. Um, I'll be trying all different types of shit. I'll be trying to put, like, everything inside of everything just to get the taste and, like, just to, like, try new things and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, check out my, check out my cooking practice. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to rock I'm going to fire with it. I'm fire with it, you know what I mean? And, 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 and this is how it go, you know what I mean? Alright, so you guys can follow along if you want to, but this is the thing. Yours won't taste like mine because I know the amount I'm supposed to put inside of this bowl. So we got the barbecue sauce, we got the blue cheese, we got French dressing, zesty ranch, got mustard, we got French fry dipping sauce. Take my spoon out. I'm gonna go ahead and shake these up. Next is the zesty sauce. Guys, you guys can follow along if you want, if you have these items. I made this a while back, and this is something that my girl likes. Oh, this mustard is wicked. All right, so this is something that my girl likes, and she also likes something that I have in the fridge, guys, that I put together for, like, fried chicken use, big chicken use. And then next is the French dressing. Then we got the blue cheese. You can use blue cheese or ranch, but honestly, blue cheese make the flavor pop out better. And then we got the barbecue sauce. Now, everybody like barbecue sauce. Me, I'm not really a barbecue sauce fan, but... I know how to make certain um, certain sauces for the sides. Let me get this down here real quick. This is wicked. You don't need a lot of barbecue sauce because barbecue sauce is a little tingy. It's, it, it brings out flavor regardless. And then you want to mix that up. That's going to come out this color. Hold on. Once you got that mixed up in there, guys, you're going to need one more thing. You're going to need peaches. Peach juice. All you need is the juice out of there. You can use this peach or you can use pineapples or mango juice, but it has to be out of the can. So I'm gonna cut it open a little bit in my bowl. Nope, that's not enough. I think I gotta open it all the way. I might eat one of these peaches anyway, so. Out of here. 
It gives it a flavor. Oh, let me get another one. Mm, mm, mm. Alright, so what it basically does is it gives it a flavor. I don't know what my spoon or Like you have to mix it up so that it blend in. I'm gonna try it at home. Remember I told you I was gonna make a little one with that one that was sitting way over here? I did, kind of folded it up, messed up looking. But I'm about to try it with this, so you guys will know. Ready one. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I got runny nose because uh, we sleep with the AC on. Stupid idea. But guys, mm. it is so good. But you gotta dip it inside the sauce. Mm, mm, mm. You guys enjoyed me cooking, man. Make sure you like this video and also hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for post notification, and turn your notifications on, guys. I'm about to go sit down, edit another video from yesterday, and I'm about to eat. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.